So after spending the last five years or so fear-mongering about the so-called far left in the United States and rhetorically aligning with the GOP, Bill Maher is finally acknowledging that, yeah, maybe it's a problem that the right in this country continued to shift further and further to the right. Oh, okay, interesting. So, Ross Stories, Alex Henderson reports, Bill Maher warns Republicans running in 2022 midterms make the 2010 kooks and extremists look tame. Now, we're going to dive into the article here, but first, I've just got to point out how convenient it is that after emboldening the right for years, affirming their fears about the far left as your position, you know, as a liberal saying, yeah, I'm a liberal. And even I think the far left is crazy. After doing that, after going on Ben Shapiro's show, after agreeing with Ron DeSantis, don't say gay bill. Now, all of a sudden you're saying, yeah, maybe the far right is a problem. Yeah, this is what the far left has been warning you about. But you bought into the lies spread by the far right. So now all of a sudden you're saying, that this is a problem. While the far left, the so-called far left in the United States, was fighting over health care and education, fighting for climate change action in any way, shape, or form, the far right was screeching about cancel culture and political correctness, trying to distract people from real issues that the left was talking about, and you helped the far right, Bill. So, I mean, I can't help but think this is a monster that you've in part created, or at least emboldened, so it's interesting that now all of a sudden... You're saying this. Now, I'm not going to play the clip for you because HBO has been bad about copyrights lately, but I'll play the clip in the background while I read to you what he says, as written by Alex Henderson of Raw Story. So, although comedian and real-time host Bill Maher is a blistering critic of political correctness and woke culture, he is no fan of MAGA Republicans and former President Donald Trump. And during an early April monologue on Real Time, Marr warned that the far-right GOP kooks and extremists who are likely to take over the U.S. House of Representatives in the 2022 midterms make the Republican kooks of 2010 and 2012 look tame by comparison. We are now only seven months away from midterm elections that are poised to make the Republicans much more powerful, Marr told viewers. So attention must be paid to where the Republican Party is right now. You'd think, with the left going a little loony over the past few years, Republicans would have seen an opening to grab the sensible center. But no, normal Republican crazy, where you just shoot guns at things you don't like in your campaign ads, even that shit doesn't cut it anymore. I look back at the Republican class of 2010 because that year has been held up as an example of Republican kookiness gone wild, Mark continued. For all of you who get frustrated because Manchin and Cinema don't vote like true liberals because they never were, or think Trump is as bad as it's going to get, remember the first rule of modern Republican politics. They always go lower, because this party has no bottom, unless you count Senator Lindsey Graham. The kooky Republicans of the 2010 era wouldn't even make the cut today for extremism, and the ones today aren't even as bad as the ones in the wings. Wait till you see the incoming group of Facebook uncles, crazy Karens, and submental shit posters coming up. Mara points it's dim-witted religious nut Kelly Tishibaka, who is running for the U.S. Senate in Alaska, Michelle Fiore, who is running for Nevada State Treasurer, sociopath Eric Greddens, who is running for U.S. Senate in Missouri, and Tina Forte, a Republican seeking Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's seat in the Bronx and Queens as some of the many GOP kooks running for office in 2022. Yeah. You're preaching to the choir. This is what we've been saying, Bill Maher. But even as he talks about how extreme the far right is in the United States, he still has to take a shot at the far left because he's functionally a conservative at this point. He was just on Ben Shapiro's show. Like, what was it, uh, three weeks ago? Talking about how gender-affirming care for trans youth is bad. How it's new that, like, uh, parents are letting kids transition at the age of three. I mean, I don't really know what he's referring to. Perhaps he's finding some story of, you know, a young child choosing a young boy, for example, choosing to wear wigs and girls clothes because he's showing signs of gender dysphoria. I don't know what he's talking about, but every single thing that he tries to do is seemingly in service of the right nowadays, right? As he is now complaining about the far right, he gave them ammunition. They were saying, look, Bill Maher is even saying what we're saying. He's saying that the left in this country... They're insane. Prager you was sharing Bill Maher, right? They were sharing Bill Maher videos of him shitting on the left. 
And there really is no far left in the United States. By and large, the left in the United States, they're pretty fixated on substantive issues. They're talking about healthcare, education, climate change, and the far right is trying to pinpoint these examples of maybe a school teacher telling kids who's more oppressed or asking kids who, who's more oppressed. Like you let them cherry pick these examples and you prop up their attacks on the far left and you use that to validate your position as the true liberal. And then they use you to legitimize their position. And this is kind of a mutual relationship that you formed with the GOP as you rhetorically align with them. And now you're realizing, oh my God, they're kind of fucking insane. Yeah. I just don't know what to say other than, yeah, we told you so. But he says this now and next week he'll talk about how one school teacher was like really woke or something and and um, was too gay. Uh, so the don't say gay bill is necessary, something that he agrees with, by the way. Uh, I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell Bill Maher. I mean, at this point, I think that He's concerned about Republicans being sensible because he probably feels more at home if the Republican Party wasn't as extreme. I think he probably doesn't really identify with Democrats anymore. I mean, he supported Amy fucking Klobuchar in 2020. I mean, if you support Amy Klobuchar after you supported Bernie Sanders, but yet you still claim that everyone else changed and not you. I mean, I, I just I, I can't feel like there's anything that I can say to reason with you. You've just kind of become a crotchety old man. And you don't like that the far left is more vocal and we push back against not just the right, but Democrats as well, centrists as well, who are holding all of us back. So, I mean, Bill Maher is a hypocrite and, you know, I'm glad that he's finally talking about the far right. But after you've aligned with them, it just feels a little bit weird that you're pointing this out. I mean, you've aided and abetted them as they shift farther and further to the right. And really, you can only shift so far to the right until you become an authoritarian. And as they are authoritarian, you'd think that somebody who cares about democracy, as Bill Maher claims he does, would be screaming at the top of his lungs about these anti-democracy Republicans running. But what does he choose to do time and again? Focus on the far left. What was the first thing he said after Trump uh, one back in 2016. Oh, well, maybe, you know, uh, this will lead to less political correctness. He's just an opportunist. And I don't know who finds his commentary insightful. He's just an angry, rich dude who's pretty conservative and has shifted to the right over the years. But, you know, he doesn't want people to go too far to the right. But I mean, this is the Republican Party. This is who you've propped up. And they've kind of paid you back by promoting you. PragerU is sharing the video and speaking your praises. So, I mean, I don't know if you're truly concerned. Stop helping them. Were you acting like a beta, 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 beta.